Hello YouTube, welcome back to another edition of Man Cave Astronomy. Uh, today we went to the hardware store and picked up some stuff. Um, I was kind of running out of some things to do videos on. And uh, spent a little bit of money on a few things. For one, the addition of a camera tripod. I'm sure all y'all will certainly appreciate and enjoy that. And uh, the other thing we did was we picked up a... Uh, Radio Shack special, just $30 webcam. Um, it's nothing fancy. Um, it's a 2 megapixel webcam, but the design of the webcam um, was was really perfect for, for what I wanted. And I didn't want any high definition, $100 webcam, anything like that, because um, honestly, to get the best results, I think, um, as far as taking some pictures and, and things through, uh, your telescope you need a high-end digital camera um, you know or a, you know something like that I, I don't really you know I've watched a bunch of videos on YouTube on how to transform a, a Microsoft a life cam that's a high-def cam into an eyepiece and all this other different stuff but be honest with you yeah that's all nice and cool um, but by the time you buy a hundred dollar webcam you uh, take it apart you modify it you put it all back together um, you know, that's just, you're still using something that it's not designed for. Um, about 450 to $500, you can buy a really nice uh, uh, CCD imager um, that goes in your telescope. It's made for dark imaging. It's made for long exposures. It's made for all that stuff. Um, and that's just kind of how I feel about it. <clears throat> you know, I don't mind taking a $30 webcam apart the day I bought it and checking it out and making rigging up some stuff and if it breaks it breaks if the 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 picture quality is not all that great hey no big deal it was a thirty dollar webcam um the biggest primary use of this thirty dollar webcam is going to be the polar finder webcam as you can see um i've got it uh put in here on the back of the polar finder this is the webcam it's a just over an inch and a quarter um it's got a nice aluminum housing and I got a rubber uh, piece that I picked up from the hardware store today and, and modified and worked on and, and got it all put on there and uh, and so far I just just fired this thing up and just tried it out and uh, and it's it, it's working good uh, I'm kind of curious to see how it's going to do outside as far as actually doing a polar alignment um, and looking through it and um, and stuff so um, the other thing uh, other than that that was it just a uh, went and picked up a cheap webcam and, and bought these um, bought a few things from the hardware store to, to adapt it to the telescope. The other cool thing is um, the the piece that I bought to adapt this this webcam to the polar finder also had several other pieces in it that I ended up making to where I can put this webcam in my two inch eyepiece on my, my ten inch. So um, it's gonna be interesting to see how that turns out. You know it there again, you know, we're we're, you know, we had to buy the stuff to, to do the Polar Finder webcam, so, you know, if we can get a two-inch um, adapter made to, to put it into big scope, it'd be kind of cool just, just to be able to, to see, um, you know, kind of looking forward um, to getting this thing out tonight and trying this stuff out and trying out Stellarium and, um, you know, the cool thing is now when I do my alignment, I don't really have to actually have to look through the telescope. I can just put the webcam in, uh, align my stars, get them pretty centered up. And I think, you know, uh, another good thing is with a webcam that's put into an eyepiece that you've got snugly into the telescope, um, when you do your two to three star alignment, you know, that webcam doesn't never really change in the eyepiece. So when you slew to your different stars, um, you know, the eyepiece doesn't change. It ain't like, you know, you're, you're, you're relying on your eye relief. In other words, how close and how far away you are from your eyepiece and standing just in the right place to get that, that star centered up. Because if you tilt and turn your head um, different ways, that star will move around in that eyepiece. So I think this will also be a little bit better of an alignment tool, um, you know, getting started. And then once we, we get started, we'll pop this thing out and um, we'll put our eyepieces in and and uh, and do what we want to do. So, um, it is September. Or, uh, yeah, it is the September 22nd. Um, we got a half moon out tonight, and uh, it's about 
I don't know, it's probably getting on eight or so. And uh, we're going to get the telescope out and see what we can do as far as um, trying out some of this new stuff we got. So um, stay tuned and, and we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm going to do another video on, on exactly what I did for the modification of the, the webcam to get it put in on the Polar Finder. And um, I'll show you guys that little modification. I don't know how... Excuse me, I had to yawn. I don't know how available this webcam is going to be. Um, like I said, I picked it up at Radio Shack. Um, it was the last one they had here, and uh, and stuff. But you know, the principle of the the inch and a quarter diameter eyepiece um, suits really well. It doesn't take much to adapt it over to to what we're using. It's just a a little round, you know, eyepiece. It's about or a eyepiece webcam that's about that long. I had to mold this piece of plastic and I'll get into all that when we do an actual mod video on it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the comments and uh, the subscriptions and stuff guys and um, hope you're enjoying it.